From a man who taught himself mathematics at the age of three, to another who beat a computer in a game of chess. We take a look at 10 of the smartest living people on Earth. Number 10. Judith Polgar Polgar was a child prodigy, becoming a grandmaster at the age of 11, and at present is the only chess player in the World Chess Federation's Top 100 Players list. She is touted as the most talented female chess player of all time. Polgar is the only woman to have won a game from a current world number one player, and has defeated nine current or former world champions. And apparently, Polgar was raised by her father as a project to prove that geniuses are made, not born. Well, sir, we got your point. Number 9. Chris Harada Harada has an IQ of 225. At age 3, he entertained himself at the grocery store by calculating the total bill items in his parents' shopping cart, item by item, by weight, quantity, discounts, and don't forget the sales tax. At the age of 4, he became a part of Caltech. At just 12, he took up college-level courses in physics and calculus and won a gold medal at International Physics Olympiad at 13. He is currently teaching astrophysics at California Institute of Technology, and he's only 31 years old. Harada deserves a mention on the list for his achievement as the youngest American, at 13, to win a gold medal in the International Physics Olympiad in 1996. Number 8. Stephen Hawking Guest appearances on TV shows such as The Simpsons, Futurama, and Star Trek The Next Generation have helped cement English astrophysicist Stephen Hawking's place in the pop culture domain. Hawking was born in 1942, and in 1959, when he was 17 years old, he received a scholarship to read physics and chemistry at Oxford University. He earned a bachelor's degree in 1962 and then moved on to Cambridge to study cosmology. Diagnosed with motor neuron disease at the age of 21, Hawking became depressed and almost gave up on his studies. However, inspired by his relationship with his fiance and soon-to-be first wife, Jane Wilde, he returned to his academic pursuits and obtained his PhD in 1965. Hawking is perhaps best known for his pioneering theories on black holes and his best-selling 1988 book, A Brief History of Time. Number 7. Terence Tao During a family gathering, the then two-year-old would teach a five-year-old child arithmetic and English. At nine, he had reached college level and obtained a master's degree at 16. And in 1988, aged just 13, became the youngest gold medal recipient in International Mathematical Olympiad history, a record that still stands today. He has won several awards and is the youngest professor at UCLA. He is also one of only two children in the history of the John Hopkins Study of Exceptional Talent program to have achieved a score of 700 or more in the SAT math section while just eight years old. Number 6. Evangelos Katsiolis Greek doctor Evangelos Katsiolis made headlines in his home country when he won the World Genius Directory's 2013 Genius of the Year Award. According to the site, Katsoli's IQ is a remarkable 198. He apparently scored 205 on the Stanford Binet scale, with a standard deviation of 16. Born in Ioania in 1976, Katsiulis studied at Greece's Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, earning a master's in science in medical research and technology, a master's degree in philosophy, and a PhD in psychopharmacology. He is currently a member of 28 IQ societies, including the exclusive Giga Society. Only one in 30 billion people will match his intelligence levels. Number 5. Ruth Lawrence Born in 1971, British mathematician and former child prodigy Ruth Lawrence made many headlines in 1985 when, at just age 13, she obtained a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Oxford University, gaining a starred first. Another degree, this time in physics. In 1990, she was made a junior fellow at Harvard, and after a stint at the University of Michigan, she took on an associate professorship in 1997. Lawrence is currently an associate professor at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem's Einstein Institute of Mathematics and investigates algebraic topology and knot theory. Number 4. Richard Rosner U.S. television writer and pseudo-celebrity Richard Rosner is an unusual case. You'd be amazed by this guy's career, as he claims to have been employed as a stripper, doorman, male model, and a waiter. He has written for several TV shows, such as Jimmy Kimmel Live, and is famous for his appearance on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?
He also has a bit of a competitive streak, as despite placing second in the World Genius Directory's 2013 Genius of the Year Award, behind our previously mentioned psychiatrist Evangelos Katsioulis. He took to reading for 20 hours a day in order to try and outdo him. Number 3. Edward Witten String theory, M theory, quantum gravity, and supersymmetry. Do these words sound familiar to you? Well, this man has contributed plenty to these. As a physicist, he has been described as the most brilliant physicist of his generation, and the world's greatest living theoretical physicist. He's also part of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World, with accolades like the Fields Medal, the Dirac Prize, the Albert Einstein Medal, and the Nemers Prize in Mathematics. Number 2. Christopher Langan Christopher Langan is an American autodidact, with an IQ reported to be between 195 and 210. He has been described as the smartest man in America, as well as the smartest man in the world by the media. He began talking at six months and taught himself to read when he was three. He has developed a theory of the relationship between mind and reality, which he calls the cognitive theoretic model of the universe. What's even more intriguing is that he dropped out of college and then worked as a doorman to eventually develop his cognitive theoretic model of the universe. Number 1. Garry Kasparov He is Russia's chess grandmaster, who became the youngest undisputed world champion at the age of 22. He beat the then-champion Anatoly Kasparov after a head-on battle in 1985. Kasparov held the official world title recognized by the International Chess Federation until 1993. He has held the position of world number one ranked player for three times longer than anyone else, and in 1996, he famously took on IBM computer Deep Blue, winning with a score of 4-2. He has a reported IQ of 190. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe for new videos every day.